Do it officially. Very good. Have we all uh, had the chance to uh, go through the minutes of our last meeting? Yes, we have. Yep, I, I, I wrote them so I know what they said. But okay. I, agree. I'll I make a motion that we accept the minutes from the last meeting. I second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Now, the new hearing. Mr. Pereira. Mr. Oh, Pereira uh, asked for a continuance. Joseph Pereira Family Realty Trust. Uh, has asked for a continuance. To January the, I think it's the 11th. Uh, 11th, sure. Charlie, yeah. Huh? January 11th. And the year is 2017. Wow. Yes, sir. Time flies when you're having fun. Oh, yeah. Our first new hearing is an abbreviated notice of intent submitted by Landman. Uh, did we vote to approve the continuance? I, I what? Think, should we vote to approve the continuance? We did. We did. I thought we voted on the minutes. I didn't hear any vote for that. I make a motion that we uh, continue the hand of favor. Aye. These guys are hard to keep up with. Yeah. Huh? Well, you know you're next. Okay, my name is Peter Morrigan. I'm the uh, facility manager at 620 Spring Street. I've Would you spell the last name, please, Peter? Yeah. M E R R I G A N. M E R R I G A N. Just like that, Morrigan. Just the way it sounds. Scott Just Irish. like Nancy Carrigan, except it's Peter Scott Morrigan. Scotch or Irish? Pardon me? Scotch or Irish? Irish. Irish. He's into. Generally, he's into. Ross Common, my father. My mother's from Clare. My father um, was from Belfast. So. Belfast? Yeah. Years ago. That's it. I visited Belfast one time. Yeah. Not so many years ago. Yeah. Still, still a little edgy up there. Oh, yeah. It's tough, tough neighborhood. That's right. That's right. Um, well, um, Jackie Lees, who would normally be here, is not able to be here tonight. So she's asked me to come in her stead. And I'll try to uh, explain and answer as many questions as you have for Good. the situation that we faced over there. Um, these are a series of pictures that were taken of the... Uh, Boy, that river was really dry. The, I'm sorry? The river was really dry. It was yeah. really dry. The driest I've ever seen. And that's the comment that we received from almost everybody that we spoke to in the town. Uh, I'm not a native, but I wasn't uh, running over the dam for a long time now, and yeah. we never saw anything like it. And anybody we spoke to had never seen anything like it. Oh. So um, what I'm trying to try to do is just uh, uh, give you the sequence of events from the time that we saw the situation that we were facing. Um, yeah. <clears throat> but, as you possibly know, the critical part of this whole thing was, with the water drying up like that, our fire system, our <clears throat> sprinkler system, relies on the water from, from the, the river. river to be brought around to a cistern and in the cistern it's stored where the pump is, when the pump is needed, it's able to fire up and we have our, we draw the water from that to feed the sprinkler system in, in the case we have a need. So, we were concerned about that whole thing. Uh, I'll walk you through this. Uh, that page one is self-explanatory, the dam and you can see that there's no water at this stage flowing over the dam. Um, page two gives you a look at the a slightly different angle, but on the lower right you can see the river, the bed, <coughs> perfectly dry. 
And it was at that time that we had an opportunity to walk around and just see what's going on down there. We've never been down there before. Because there was water there. was never any, any reason to be down there before. Well, when we got down there, Paige, the next picture shows you what we, could, what we saw. Um, the, <clears throat> the cistern itself, you can see where it is starting to literally fall apart on us. That water was rushing through a hole that I'll show you in a picture later on, above the slide gate that was all the way sitting on the floor of the cistern itself. Um, <clears throat> the next picture shows you, this is just above that same hole that we were just looking at, and you can see where all of the concrete, all of the stone is all <clears throat> in the rebar is all starting to fail on us. Is that at the top of the dam, Peter? I'm sorry? Is the system, is that at the top of the dam? No, this is this is all of this is right beside our it's right beside our uh, pump house. Here's another picture that might give you a little bit of that's a slightly different picture. It's not a slightly different picture, it's a very different picture. This is our firehouse. And it's not a firehouse, it's our pump house. Now we have cistern is sitting right here on the other side of this wall, that retaining wall, okay? Again, slightly, again, here's the wall. That wall is going to be a big part of the whole situation we're going to talk about in a few minutes. And now we're looking at the cistern itself right here. Okay, here's our wall, the cistern. Now we're looking down at the cistern. <coughs> These, the gate, uh, the, the uh, I don't know the term to describe. That is the device used to open and shut the gate. Probably it's done it manually. Screw. I'm sorry? Yeah, probably call it a screw. Yeah, left. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's right. And now we're looking down into the cistern. And again, this picture is the one that you're looking at right here. Okay, so that might give you a little perspective on the on how it's set up. Oh, I know where it is and I've seen it. That's right. I say I've been there, I've seen it, I know where it is, know where it yeah. is. Yeah. Know how it works. So what we have <coughs> picture number four is as explained. Five is a look down into the cistern itself from the uh, the top wall. Yeah. And well that's the gate, that's the condition of the gate that it's in now, or was at the time of the of our problem. So, six is the start, the actual demo, if you will, has taken place and we're starting now to, uh, started to put the forms in place so we can build the wall. The three walls are going to have to be built and we're going to tie into the fourth wall and this is the, this is the, uh, the wall that I was telling you about. Yeah, I can. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> And again, <clears throat> more pictures showing the same thing, the rebar in place, forms, forms are being built, around, rebar is being put in. Number, <clears throat> number eight, we're seeing the finished the finish product, and if you look at it, <clears throat> looking down you see now our hole, is, our hole is back in place, we're waiting for this gate to be delivered and installed. That's not it. We do not have that yet. Made out of what? We're expecting that hopefully by the end of the year. We're going to have to stop. We're going to have to plug the water up again. From the other end? Yeah. Install the gate. So the gate What's can the be installed. What's the gate made out of, Peter? That's, I'm sorry? What's it made out it's of? It's going to be made out of steel. It'll be a steel gate. gate. Yeah. Um, we're, uh, it's, it, we couldn't do anything. Although the measurements are the very same, this cistern versus the old one. Everything was done to try to replicate everything the, the new with the old. Um, we could not 
take a chance on watering the gate. It's custom built yeah. without the measurements exact to what we have here. So that's the reason for the delay. And that's, and this is our <coughs> finished product. Looking at it, looking at it from, from the roof of the, from the roof of the pump house. This picture was taken, so we're looking down at it, and that's our finished product. This is the wall we were talking about that we had to build to that wall. This made it a repair versus a replacement. The critical words that you fellas understood for us. And um, fortunately for us, we feel very good. We got the right company, actually saw a company from Fall River, and uh, they just knew They've been in the game, they've played the game on larger scales than this. They've moved very quickly for us, they were, did a great job. Uh, they were very conscious of anything that was being done for making sure nothing, no debris fell into the water. Uh, they covered up that whole area so, that, you know, it was really a lot of fun, if that's the right word, yeah, watching I went, them. I went by a couple of times. Yeah, so they did a nice job. They did a good job. We feel very good about it. Um, so, with that, that's that's an ex that's our explanation. So you're done. You, all you got to do is drop the gate in. That's correct. And, and you today that back in there's, a, there's a there's a small there's a retaining wall just being finished today um, between the cistern itself and the prior wall that was in place. That got damaged a little bit with the machines going back and forth. And that's all been that's been fixed to the extent that it is now. It's not quite finished yet, but again, when the gate when the gate comes, we'll go back in, we'll finish everything that we can, clean it up, clean it up, and it'll look pretty much the way it did before the, all of this started. Most importantly, we'll have our building in full protection. We're, we're able to run now. We're, <clears throat> we've got it in line. We've tested, the, we've tested our pump. We feel good about it. We feel very good about it. And uh, I think we're in, I think we're in good shape. We found some things out about the town. The the main on the street was would probably not be sufficient to give us fire protection if we had to have it. Um, that was that was a big concern. Um, you know, we worked with the fire department. We worked with building with uh, the building department. They understood our situation. We we. Worked as quickly and as, as I would say expeditiously as we possibly could, getting onto the schedule with the uh, with the construction company. Um, so, and you folks cooperated. You helped us out a little bit, just giving us that that understanding that we needed that repair versus replacement situation. We had one engineer that came in, looked at it, looked at that that wall, and he said. I don't. I, I think you're going to have to take that whole thing out. You're going to have to go all the way back, probably 40 or 50 feet, and rebuild the whole thing. And that would have been replacement. Hmm. I said we can't do that. I had to go to the experience of a few other people before we took it. I just wasn't going to do that. It, it, just, it couldn't happen. <clears throat> so that's what we have. To layman's terms, no engineering words, no, uh, I don't have the words for that Jackie might have used to explain in, in the... Uh, Not necessary, Peter. Look terrific. Look really good. Oh, thank you. Well, it'll look even nicer when we finish it. When the weather turns again, we'll go down and we'll put a finished coat on it. It'll look, it'll look, it'll look great. There will be a grade over the top of it, which there hadn't been before, but we will put that over uh, so that any, anybody inquiring about it, is, there's going to be a grill there so if <clears throat> nobody will fall into it. I don't know whether the, <coughs> I don't know whether the, the, the weather's going to be good for you until you get your gate. No, we'll, we won't do that. Until, we won't do the grill until the gate comes. We, we've got it partitioned off now, so that yeah. this. Yeah, but I mean, uh, 
hopefully you'll have some low water and, that, and if whatever you need to do in there, you can get in there and do it. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> the, the flow is good right now, so we don't have any problem with maintaining the pressure that we need. You have flow right now? Yes, we do. I didn't know yeah. that. We have, a, we have a full flow right now. Oh, good. So we're, we're, in, we're in good shape. Uh, our missing member was concerned that it was going to affect the uh, potential uh, herring uh, population of uh, well, Three Mile River. <laughs> yeah, well. um, the herring, the latter is supposed to be as far on the far side of the, uh, away, on the other side of the... Uh, on the Taunton the, side of the river. On, yeah, on the Taunton side, exactly. I mean, poor fish, I don't, I don't know who's going to give them the guidance to get, get up that ladder, but that's... That's somebody else's problem. Yeah. We're not going. We're not going to get into that one. Well, so. Jim didn't want to have them stock herring, run up the ladder, and then get washed down the river again. I guess. Um, I know that Brad Chase has been working on that now for over. Now we then just out into the lower part of the river, go circuit, circles through the mill. And comes out back into the river again. Say, I'm sorry, say that again. The water that the sluice way. Yeah. Your fire system. Yep. The water runs under the mill. Doesn't run under the. It runs. There's a parking lot, if you will. Yep. That comes. <clears throat> this this <clears throat> the cistern is at the end of the at the end of the route, if you will. The water the water is channeled underneath the road. And, care, and runs about 250, or oh, at least 250 feet, underground, until it's reached. You know, and it's all it's all a uh, downward pitch. So it's um, um, how would you say? It <clears throat> the pressure the pressure is attained when the water gets to the cistern. The water raises all the way to the level of the dam. Just sheer gravity. It's a sheer gravity flow, right? It comes all the way down beside the. It, be, it ends up beside the uh, uh, the pump house, and that's that's how we get the pressure to force that water. When, when the pump gets turned on, the downward pressure is is exerted, draws the water, and that's how we get up. That's how we get our protection. That's how we get our uh, sprinkler system to work. But that <clears throat> it runs about. It's, I'm going to guess it's 200. It could be considerably more than that. Coming off the river, around we we've got a, <clears throat> a pen stock there where the water is stored for as it sits in there, and it's from that it's drawn again. I don't know if that answers it or not. In there for uh, how long? How old is the mill? That's right. How old is the mill? We have dates. The first buildings this, that are still standing in the early 1900s. The last building was built in 1922. Strangely enough, that building went down in the demolition. But everything was built in between. All you've been in there, you've probably seen it. Yeah, all all connected, with one exception, one one building that's not connected. Well, if the herring is small enough to get up into Three Mile River, they should be small enough to stay away from the uh, system. <laughs> if not, well, they're waiting long enough to get up there. I think that they'll say, "Hey, we like it up." If that's what they want to be. Um, I don't know where they go from there. I don't know if they keep going further up. Well, they plan to put they plan to put a, another fish ladder up at the the other dam off of uh, the boulevard, which is about behind the old Raytheon plant, the, the, the dam up there. Well, that's fun. The old Raytheon plant. The, the one at Lincoln Street. That's that'd be the lower. Yeah, no, there's one. There, there already is one off Lincoln Avenue. Right, there's, there's one, one up against Lincoln Avenue. Yeah. And, so and they got a dam right up there where you are, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, the next dam is. Uh, well, they took they took uh, the next dam is uh, up there on Bay Street. 
Yeah, they did. Well, actually, he's reading Bot. No, reading Botten's got one. Reading Botten's got a dam, and then it'll be base. Is that the same river? Is that the same flow? Same river. Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah, same yeah. river. Because there's nothing in Westville, right? Yeah. Oh. Is that is that Taunton? That's not Titan. That's uh, Reading Bot. Yeah, that's Taunton. Taunton. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <coughs> well, just across from you was Taunton. It's Taunton all the way up through. What's that? What comes next? Norton? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That, your water originates <coughs> off of 495. Yeah, what okay. the name of that up road? At, up at uh, uh, Bay Street. Originates up there and then comes down through. And on 140 in Norton, where you drive through the reservoirs, Mm -hmm. That's your water. That used to go to the mill up until what, 10, 12 years ago? I believe. That's the Wade and River Corporation that owned that, which was Dighton Industries. And the town of Norton uh, bought those reservoirs. But there's also three pump houses up there to regulate that water flow. Really? Yeah, I used to work on them. Twice a year, I'd have to go check them for Dayton industry. So, are those gates still working? Especially I don't no. know. Uh, yeah, they must be because they can regulate the water. But uh, the town of Norton has control over them now. So they picked them up. But, um, you know, like I say, that was the Wade and River Corporation. Mm -hmm. That's the part of it. Yeah. yeah. Well, what surprised us was the the debris, if you will, this, all the silt that built up here. One of our guys actually walked on that. That fell. Mm. So the water is really um, two feet deep. Mm. Yeah. The 12 foot dam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, pretty amazing. Yeah. I'm sure it didn't look like that when they uh, built the dam. Oh, I'm sure they didn't. But how much junk is in there? I don't know if, if that's the right word. Yeah, well, all the runoff and I don't know, everything over the years. Mm -hmm. uh, that, <coughs> the, the side walls on our dam, 1929, it's dated 1929. Right. I assume that the, that's when the dam was built. Right. And with this, with the when we had this opening like this, uh, buildings, the uh, fellow, uh, who did our annual ins our, our five year inspection <coughs> was able to look at that and he said actually the dam was in very, very good shape. Uh, there were a couple of spots there that we could have worked on, but he's, yeah. it wasn't no, so it wasn't yeah. critical at all. Yeah. Yeah. So well, from the look of it, there's not much of an impoundment there. Right. Uh, it's a little shallow river. That's right. It's amazing. It, it was amazing to us. Uh, the only pressure on it is the dirt that's built up behind it. And again, I think it comes off the hills, it comes off the, oh, yeah. off oh, the farms I mean, and everything yeah. else there yeah. all, yeah. all along yeah. the way. Yeah. Um, the rain runs it down, the snow yeah. carries it down. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, um, it's pretty interesting. Yeah. Well, those pictures are yours. Okay. Welcome to them. They might be something for posterity. We have others if if you need them. Yeah. If you don't need them, I'll take them. <clears throat> I'll make a motion that we uh, do the hearing and I'll issue an order of conditions for the project. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. You're all done, Peter. Very good. You'll, uh, do you need anything from Jackie? Uh, Any paperwork? Anything? I don't think the so. The okay. Count Gazette receipt. I'm sorry? Oh yeah. The, she she paid for the receipt, but it didn't come tonight. Receipts oh. to a buttons. Mm -hmm. You know you have Ask to notify to a buttons. Email us the receipt, receipt for mail. the Gazette advertisement. You see what? It'd be green and about the size of that <coughs> photograph. I didn't have the receipt. I know that. Okay. Yeah, I know I didn't have that. I think I have a picture of it, but I don't have the. Is a picture of it good enough? No, she just, uh, she sent an email that she had paid the Gazette for yeah. the... I saw her check, I saw a picture of the check, that's what I'm thinking of. 
Yeah. No, we need the receipt. You want the receipt itself? She can send us an email or a copy of the okay. receipt. I'll make sure she does that. Good. <coughs> if not, we'll haunt it by mail. Request Charlie for uh, certificates of compliance. Very good, gentlemen. Thank you. Yeah. Have right, a good night. Be safe. I don't have to sign uh, out of this. One. Well, we get the public discussion part. Yeah, if you wouldn't mind. I'm sorry? Would you mind signing it? No. <laughs> this is for the old Princess House there? Yeah. That's public discussion? Yeah. 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 We have public. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I'm not here for that anyway. Nothing to talk about tonight? I? About anything you mean? Whatever's on your mind. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I got a problem with the nature of what did you put down on um, County Street? Uh, I was at one of the hearings one time when you were proposing it. I told you the problem I had with the hunters. Well, I got a window broken now. And I think it's a safety. It's what? Tony, I can't hear you. I think it's a safety problem we have right now because we've got people walking the your nature trail. What, what, what? Where? Down on 138. No. Oh, the new one? The new yeah. One. All right. But. I was here when you were proposing to do some work there. Yeah. You know? I told you about the hunters were shooting and the, my wife was telling me that the pellets were hitting the house. Well, somebody broke a window now. In your house? In my house. So, uh, at the time that you proposed it, I asked you if you would put up signs of uh, no hunting or something to that effect. You did. I remember that. And they never got put up. You're not going to put up signs that you can't hunt there. Okay. I'll have to take it somewhere else. Why would we do that? The people that don't own that land, uh, you, you, if you exclude hunters, then you're going to exclude walkers or <coughs> ice skaters? Or well, you're, going to, you're going to have a problem there anyways, between the walkers and the hunters, because right now it's deer season, and you've got people walking around there, and it's just about dark. There was a guy with two kids walking out of the woods tonight, and I just about could see him. I mean, uh, you know what happened in Norton, where a woman got shot? Yeah. Oh, yeah. State cop shot her. Yeah. I mean, let's be reasonable about this. I'm not, I'm not looking to stop anybody from doing anything. I'm just you looking... You wanted signs around your house. Around. <coughs> actually, actually, uh, it ought to be posted as a safety zone. It, uh, for the, his, the hunting, no, yeah, the hunting part of it should be posted as a safety zone. And that'll, that'll theoretically keep them away from the house. I mean, that- That was that, what you wanted before. Well, yeah. You're supposed it, to, because you had bird hunters you were worried about. Too. Yeah. Or duck hunters, geese hunters, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Whatever they're shooting at out there, you know, I think it's ducks and geese. Yeah. From Ellie. But I mean- they're shooting uh, up in the air and hitting the house. Yeah. But a safety zone, safety zone, I think is like, uh, 250 or 350 feet. But I, I think at least during deer season, you either should limit it to either hunters or the bird watchers yeah. or nature yeah. walk, walkers yeah. because there's going to be something going to get shot down there. I'm yeah. telling you. Yeah. When it happens, I'm going to come back and tell you. I told you so. Yeah, well, Jim had that trouble down there. He ran into a couple of people walking when he was down there hunting. And they didn't have one. No, any they, they, tonight the guy had two little kids. Yeah. And uh, they're all dressed in dark clothes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you're going to have an accident there. Yeah. I mean, at least during deer season, you should post it. Either open to hunters or, you know, not open to uh, people that want to use a nature trail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but I, I like something you. saying that they couldn't enter there without. Uh, uh, well, they should at least have, at least have colors on. Yeah. Yeah. Jack Taylor, you know, uh, over in Rhode Island, they have signs up during hunting season. It just says, 
you need to wear orange. So it might be something to put down there, just on that on that sign, yeah. just to say during hunting season, yeah. wear orange because. But also, like I say, it's it's. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if I've ever seen them around. Of course, they got the five hundred foot deal anyway. Right. But they but used, they used on police. Every, there used to be lots of signs that said. Well, I mean, zone. I know up I know up in, in the north country, around all the farms and the buildings, they put up safety zones. Right. So you stay so far mm -hmm. away. You know, but it's way. posted at the 500 feet. I'm not sure of the footage, Tony, yeah, but yeah, well, that's, where, that's where it's, I know I know Massachusetts is 500 right, foot, yeah. and that's the way uh, it should be posted if, if uh, I just don't want to see somebody get shot. No, 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 and I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't I want to see more windows broken in my house. No, no, I realize that. I can take you right there right now house, and show you the window that got broken. For your house, <laughs> you know what I mean, the safety zone signs. And then post it. You know what I mean? That you got to wear colors yeah. uh, during during hunting season. That's all. Well, that's going to be posted at the parking lot where the people walk. Right. right. Yeah. Be no, yeah. 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 And see if they adhere to it. But if they don't adhere to it, you know. Well, I mean, yeah. It's it's you know that's their but problem. But I tell you, it's 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 dangerous. Yeah. Somebody's going to no, get hurt. Yeah. 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 Especially during deer season, you know. Yeah. Bird yeah. hunting. It's not quite as bad. No. Still, it's not that good. So, that's something you the board to look into. Or? Yeah. yeah. Bird shot, broken window. Yes, sir. I'll take it down and show you. Yeah, sure. You can tell me. Yeah. Bird shot. Bird shot. Mm. Oh, Had to be close. Huh? Had to be close to your house. I'll tell you, they're walking on my side. Well, my side. They're walking on my house side of the brook to access it. I own a piece of land that goes right out into the water. Yep. And people are crossing it to go over to where you used to own. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, once we get that big pipe in, they'll be able to cross right there and they, they won't have to run along the creek there behind your house. Well, maybe you can put some signs there, you know, some safety zone or something. Yeah. I haven't seen them safety zone signs in a long time. No, I haven't seen any around here, but up north you see them all over the place. Of course, they don't have, uh, you know I mean, like even deer hunting, you know what I mean? State of Vermont, uh, as far as discharging a weapon, can't discharge it from the travel portion of a roadway. So if you step off three feet, <laughs> you can shoot, but... Uh, well, different states no, have different regulations. No, 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 I realize that, Tony, but I mean, they should, you know, should at least put up safety zone signs if they're shooting up towards the house. So, you know, that would be. Oh, so break a window with birdshot, you got to be, gonna be fairly close. 60, 70 yards from your house. Well, you say that, yeah, but if you start shooting up in the air, yeah, it'll travel further. It'll travel further. Yeah. They do travel further, but they lose their velocity. Yeah. But still, I you mean, know, on the down. <laughs> it broke the window, that's all I can tell you. Well, I think it it's a bad shot, unless it was buckshot, I don't know. It had to be yeah. close to your house. It had, maybe it was buckshot, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, well, that's what I asked you. You know, I don't know. I mean, I can't find the pellet, but I know the window's broke. It's yeah. got a, you know, uh, I know got what. Got a hole in it like yeah. this? Might have been a piece of buckshot. Double O buck, maybe. Low, number four buck. Maybe. It's still, it's too, too, they're, too, they're too close. Yeah. You know? I never had that problem for 30 years. So you put the nature walk in, people have access to the marsh, yep. you know? So I'm just here to ask for some help. I asked for it when you, when you were trying to permit it to build it. And I guess you didn't uh, follow through with that. Hey, what? Right. You didn't follow through with putting the signs up. You, you said you were going to put signs up to begin with. What the hell would we? I can't remember exactly what we decided on on the signs for that piece. He was talking about signs that went around and in the marshy area, so they wouldn't be shooting near his house. I remember that. But now this is a, another issue. I mean, people coming from the city are going to walk in there. They don't. They never hunted in their life, and uh, either force them to wear something. Uh, what are you going to do? Are you going to how are you going to police it? 
You can't, you can't really force them, Charlie. But, no. You know, you can no, you put can, a notification. You can them and, and yeah, put a notification. If they shouldn't walk in there in the deer season yeah. without. Yeah. yeah, hunter safety orange yeah. required. You know what I'm saying? Anything. I mean, even if it's that safety yellow, I mean, we used to, at least yeah. you see them. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the guy came out there tonight with two little kids, and he was he was in dark clothes the kids with. I'm saying, oh, just okay. around the parking lot, or actually came out of the woods. Came out of the woods, walking to the parking lot when I was going by. Yeah, I mean the signs there now, so it draws people. Why don't we just an open lot? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Tommy makes signs. No. Yeah, Tommy. Uh, he does. <coughs> I don't know. Well, if Tommy yeah. makes signs. Yeah. Tommy well, put the can, sign up. Yeah, Tommy. But we ought to do something. Uh, yeah. Warning them that uh, the hunting season and they shouldn't yeah. be going in without the. Uh, yeah. Not orange. Not just orange. Yeah. That, that way, if they want to take a chance to walk in, they've been warned. They should be wearing high vis clothing, and uh, the the sign should be you should put one in the parking lot. And one way at the entrance to go through the wall, because they have to go through that wall section to go to the nature trail. That would be the place to put it. That would be the place to put it. And maybe we could put some safety zone signs, you know, around, wrapping yeah. around towards my house. Yeah. Yeah, because actually, if I remember correctly, you would even put them up if we got them. Yeah, I'll put them up. Yeah. I'll I'll put them up. you made the offer. I'll, yeah, I'll yeah. put them up. Yeah. <laughs> you want me to look into them? Huh? Try to find out. Want me to look into them? Put them up. If we get them, you can put them up. Yeah. Well, maybe, maybe, huh? maybe somebody ought to watch him. Why is that? Putting them up. Yeah, put them Why up is that? A bill? Well, we want to make sure you don't put them too far away from uh, into our property. Well, it's just got to be 500 feet from his dwelling bill. Yeah. Well, that's where they ought to go. Well, yeah. I mean, that's the thing. Well, then you guys put them up there. Right? <laughs> I'm just offering to help see if we can help yeah, you. You don't know? no, no, want my help? No, I you mean, know? it's, it's uh, you know, to put them up, they should be 500 foot from your building. That stream is just about 500 foot. That yeah. brook that runs up in there. Yeah. In the marsh behind your place? Yeah, it's just about, 500. about 500 feet. Yeah. But I mean, that's a lot, but a lot of people don't know. You know, 500 feet from the roadway, 500 yeah, feet. they more. shoot, shoot more. Pardon? Well, yeah, I mean, they do and they don't, but if they didn't look up the road, they don't know, you know what I'm saying? Well, the public like, like a few guys that were out bird hunting one day after Thanksgiving, and, yeah, shortly after somebody moved into town. What was that? Quite a few years ago, there were three guys out bird hunting right behind somebody's house. When uh, Richie Walter and myself were right there at my mother's and we could look down and see your house. Yeah. Said your wife got a little upset with the gunshots, but I don't remember that, but Yeah. Yeah. Maybe he does. <coughs> well that's what happens when you live in the woods. Well no, that's the thing. It's, uh, we'll do something down there, yeah. Tony. Yeah. Yeah, no, uh, well look. Uh, just look into it, you know what I mean? Safety yeah. zone. I don't want to see anybody get hurt, yeah, killed, or uh, whatever, you know what yeah, I mean? No, no, it's true, Tony. It's true. But, uh, it's true. Let's see if we can yeah. do something to deteriorate them from going, you know, on my side of the brook or something, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. No, if we get some safety zone signs, so and, and, uh, yeah. and, and, and the blaze orange thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Also. Right there, like you say, way across the wall, and one A lot, lot of people are using it. You know, oh, yeah. A lot of people are using yeah. it as far as you know, walking. Yeah. You know, yeah. you see them walking their dogs mostly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's a car there all the time when you go by. Yeah, I always. Yeah. Sometimes too. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Is it there. connected to the railroad tracks yet? Jeez, I don't know. I don't think so. No. Tell me how. Tommy was waiting for DEP to tell him what he needed to do around that west end of the old landfill, or the old dump. He had he needed to get orders from them about what he needed to do. Then he was going to put. Then he was going to connect the pass. And he's supposed to tell me when he when he got all that together, but I haven't heard from him. Well, I 
make a motion that we uh, copy up uh, some money for uh, safety signs to delineate uh, uh, Mr. Roderick's property and the uh, warning signs that uh, it's hunting season and you shouldn't walk the trail without high visibility clothing. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. You got that written in there? I did. I wrote it right down. <laughs> then we got it. Okay, thank you. You will. Okay. Are you going to talk to uh, Tommy? I'll see yeah. Tommy in the morning. If All not, right. I'll get a hold of Paul. That's right. You guys eat. Well, uh, lots of times they see morning. him. You know, if I see him, I'll talk to him and, and uh, you know, check right. and see what he's got. If not, uh, I was going to call him when I first saw that new sign up, but I had problems. I noticed it when I went by. Huh? Did we pay for that, or they, who what? paid for that? I don't know. Well, I, I, Tommy didn't tell me he was putting it up. Up it went. Jesus, it, it's property owners for Christ's sake, or land management uh, commission. We ought to be advised before be. they start doing things. I, that's what I plan to tell them. Very really good. Yeah. Even the signs. Did the. Uh, Recreation department take over the, uh, no. Huh? Somebody had to pay for the sign unless Tommy feeling uh, had extra money in his budget. I don't know. Yeah, I noticed that uh, Thanksgiving when I went shooting by you know, okay. to see uh, my uh, mother. It's on both sides of the sign too, coming back. You can sit the same thing. All right, what do we got left, Charlie? All we got is a certificate of compliance for uh, the mill property for the uh, former uh, last property on uh, Somerset Avenue. They completed the uh, no removal of the lead deposits. Removal of the what? The lead. Oh, okay. Lead crystal. Lead crystal. Yeah. That's all completed and they're looking for uh, certificates of uh, compliance for uh, two different orders or conditions we issued. SEO 17335 and 0377. I wish they'd have been here. Hmm? I wish they would have been here. So we could ask them a couple of little questions. But, uh, well, they're in Maine. Portland, Maine. It's a yeah. long trip. Well, are we sure that they're done and complete and everything is in order? Hmm? Last time I was sure. there, it was uh, Bill. Okay. I started reading through it, then I get tired. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <coughs> old people do that. They start nodding off. Well, they sent that to DEP. They, they, DEP had issued the uh, permit to remove the stuff. Yeah, I know that. And we are uh, on the local level were involved, but they were it was a DEP project. And they're done. They're done. The DEP they're says done. okay. Well, I don't know. If you don't want to send us to the compliance, we'll find out if they're done and if DEP said okay. They got the floppy disk there, you can drop it in the computer. And we can Christ. postpone this till uh, January the, the 11th. 11th. <laughs> At least they left a phone number if they can want to ask her. Let's get to the back and see what they're saying. investigating and monitoring data. All right, they like it. DEP says that's good. They didn't say anything to us. No, they say it in here. But that, they filed this with the DEP and us. Right. <coughs> so I'll, I'll entertain a motion to uh, 
I'll make a motion that we assign the two certificates of uh, compliance for AECOM and IES Enterprises on Somerset Avenue. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Take care of that. You guys got any other business you're going to go over? Anything else? You know, have you got anything else you guys are going to go over tonight? No. Tonight? Any other business? We're done. I got a question. Did the Rosa come in and file an RDA for that problem? No. Do you know why? No, no, I don't know why. I spoke to you six weeks ago and you told me he was. Six weeks ago, we told him he had to come in at five. So what do you do now? What do you do now? I think I'll take a ride by there tomorrow. What's that? I think I'll take a ride by his place tomorrow. There's two two parcels. Uh, there's two parcels there. There's one that Roderick's owns that where the place of business is, and then there's the open field that he he purchased from the diocese. So you're dealing with two parcels of land, not just one. The open parcel is the one in the back? No. Which parcel are we talking about? The one he cleared. That's a different parcel from? Yes, it is. Does he own them now, or is no. it still? Well, he owns the one. Which one? The one he cleared. The open field. So he, with the old sawmill, he doesn't own that? No. Just rents it? Go to upstairs, he don't. Go to the assessor's office, he don't. So you got, you know, two RDAs that got to be The property filed. didn't belong to the church? Pardon? The property that, that's adjacent to the sawmill didn't belong to the Diocese of Paul River? It did. He purchased that. That runs up into the back as well? Yes. Okay. Yes. So it goes from County Street all the way out to whatever the extent is up. Mendoza's fields, the back fields of Mendoza. No. But you, you told me it was flagged, and I've researched it a little bit, and uh, I, don't, I don't believe it's been flagged. <coughs> well, the last time that place was flagged was when the diocese was trying to sell it to someone for a solar farm. And no. I can show you exactly where the flag is. <coughs> the last time that was flagged is when uh, Roderick's, uh, Rodriguez uh, uh, started filling in the, uh, the marsh. They 
the guy that's, who flagged it. That's that parcel of land over there. John he flagged Parker. along the marsh. Yep. And he went up around the bushes as well and into the other property. But mostly he went right up along the edge where the big bushes were and stopped part way in. Why would he go on somebody else's property? DeRosa claims that he hired a... a Brandon. A Brandon. Brandon Fanup. I don't know the name of his company. Random Fanup? Brandon Fanup. He has a... That's not the name of his company. It's a... It's a it's a consultant pen, and he flagged the wetland area. There must I be a there's so you flag the wetland flag. area, all the flags gotta be numbered. They should be. And yeah. there should be a plan yeah. of where his flags were. Have you seen that? No. I haven't been on the property. Yeah, but Brandon flagged that, that'd be for uh Roderick for Roderick. No, he flagged the area that just got cleared. Oh, did he? Yeah, That's yeah. what uh, for who? De Rosa claims. He, he, he flagged it for De Rosa? Yeah. I don't know. I think somebody's lying. I don't, I don't think it's you, Charlie. I saw flags when I went in there. I didn't look at numbers and I didn't look to see if Brandon initialed them or anything like no, that. No, all, when you flag wetlands, they got to be numbered. And it's got yeah, to be a plan. I say I seen the flags and I didn't go in and look at them. No, he, he hasn't. I didn't take them in my hand and look at them. He's been talked to several times and. Uh, I just went through this in Rehoboth. When you flag wetlands, the, the flag has to have a number on it. And yeah, of course number, it does. That number is going to reflect on a plan. Yes, we know that. But there's no plan. We haven't well, seen. I can tell you. I can tell you my lands have been uh, flagged. There ain't got no plan. How's it been flagged? That's just his thing. When I'm telling you, when the diocese was trying to sell that property, you think I ought to go in there and make them clean it up? To oh. a firm to put a solar no. farm in there. I mean, uh, they had the firm come in and flag that. No, nothing. It wasn't the rose. And, and I can game. show you exactly, and telling I can show you some of the flags to clean that, wow. that that Very company good. put in there. Yeah. Yeah. We never had anybody file with us. No, they didn't have to file with you, but I mean, they were just doing this to well, see yeah. if it was feasible. Yeah. All right. Just to see if it was feasible. You know what I'm saying? Now, all I know is that the Board of Health uh, sent the building inspector or yep. somebody from the building department down, yep. and he has to file a, a land clearance for a land clearance permit. And stormwater. Yeah. Stormwater. Yeah, plan. That's good. But you told me he was going to file an RDA. He told me that too. I'm still waiting for it. Hasn't he? So how do you address that? He's a man of many promises. Hmm. So how does the board address that? You want to clear? You want to close the hearing? Why? So I can go home. Oh, we yeah. still have talking to Tony. Well, we can talk to Tony all you want, but if you close the whole hearing, I can go. Well, we're not on TV. So. That's good. Well, if we are, we don't know about it. Yeah, we must be. We're not, he uh, came out to tell us about it. I'll make a motion that we close the hearing at 825. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Good night.